This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Crash Plan. Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where we take all the juicy tech morsels from the week and condense them into one juicy rumor hamburger for you to enjoy. Up this week, we're going to talk about HTC allegedly stopping development on several new smartphone models. Apple's new iTV, Apple TV, whatever you want to call it, is making a rumor roundup comeback. Tegra 4 is leaking with a 74 core GPU, and HTC M7 is a Another 1080p phone coming from the folks out of HTC. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start the Rumor Roundup with HTC. Last year, they released literally a boat ton of phones. You could have fit them all in a giant boat. Well, they've said, no, we're gonna slow our roll a little bit and release less phones next year that appears to be true. HTC has allegedly stopped development on several new smartphone models that it was originally planning to launch next year in 2013, according to a new report that came out last Wednesday. Smartphone maker still hopes that its shipments will increase by 10 to 15-ish percent, but that's lower than 20 or 30 percent growth the firm was planning on during the first quarter of next year. We don't know which models HTC is suspended, although we already do know that it's not going to move forward with the development of a 5-inch Windows Phone 8 phablet due to the screen resolution limitations on Windows Phone platforms, which sucks. I would have loved an HTC Titan 3. Love Windows Phone on a giant, huge screen would have been pretty sweet. It is possible that HTC will continue to instead focus on Android handsets over Windows Phone power devices, since they seem to have a much more popular following. Although that's purely just techno buffalo speculation. Apple is allegedly testing a 46 to 55 inch iTV is what I'm calling it, but it's not going to launch next year. We learned on December 12th that Apple was in the early stages of testing designs for its own television set, according to its CEO Tim Cook. Now those sources from Apple supplier Hon Hai are speaking to Focus Taiwan, claiming that Apple's already testing a set with screen sizes between 46 and 55 inches. News outlets suggesting that Apple will need to get its panels from Sharp, but it's unlikely that they're going to settle on a supplier before the end of 2012. In other words, if report's correct, we're not going to see an Apple TV until 2014, if at all. So really all this is saying is Apple's doing due diligence on whether or not they're going to release a television set. Of course, you have to do that with every single product they ever come out with. I think the big deal holding Apple back from a TV TV is getting deals with the content providers. TV is great, it's just gonna show regular television content, there's no real need for it. They gotta find a way to get a subscription service or sort of an a la carte menu for TV and the TV network. So I'd still like to see it. No idea what pricing is gonna be, but I think for most people, they don't wanna get that size up or 55 inches. 65 seems to be the, the new hottest. Of course, you got Samsung 75 inch, you know, gold plated monstrosity. Hopefully Apple will come up with bigger sets, uh, you know, if at all. Do you guys care about Apple TV? Is it just sort of a dead rumor at this point? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So we're obviously big fans of Nvidia and their Tegra processors around here. And Tegra 3 is pretty darn fast, but it looks like out with the old and with the new, Tegra 4 has started to leak out with a 74 core GPU. A recent leak is suggesting that the company is working on a Tegra 4 processor, which is called Wayne. All their processors have had comic book names. So Wayne, bring to Bruce. So a slide leaked that showed a four plus one quad core Eagle CPU that suggests it's gonna be powered by ARM's Cortex A15 architecture, which the Verve notes was also codenamed Eagle. The new processor allegedly is gonna pack a 72 core GPU, which is freaking incredible. And it's gonna offer six times the graphics performance of Tegra 3, six freaking times. I can't even imagine what games are gonna look like on Tegra 4. They look pretty awesome on Tegra 3, so you're gonna have much more detail in the water, in the background. A character's be able to do more things. AI should get smarter for games. Other features supposedly include support for 4K video playback. That's coming mainstream soon. Display resolutions up to a super sharp 2560 by 1600 pixels and support for USB 3.0. We're not really sure when we're going to hear more about Tegra 4, when devices are going to hit the market, but we do hope NVIDIA is going to talk about it during the CES press conference, which of course will be attending. So are you jealous of your friend's droid DNA but want a little smaller screen? One of the phones HTC is supposedly going to be making is the M7 rocking a 4.7 inch screen and that gorgeous 1080p display. The phone is currently codenamed the M7 and it's apparently going to ship with a 1.7 gigahertz quad core Qualcomm produced processor likely to Snapdragon Pro, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, LTE, 
and 42 megabits per second HSDPA support. 30 megapixel camera, two megapixel front facing camera for video chat, Beats Audio, 2300 milliamp hour battery and Android Jelly Bean. Those specs sound pretty freaking awesome to us and we hope this rumor actually comes to fruition in the form of a new smaller 1080p handset from HTC. We're hopeful we'll see something during CES 2013 or at the very least, Mobile World Congress in February, but of course, we'll be there for it. So now that we've rounded up all the rumors, let me thank our friends and sponsors at Crash Plan. 464 gigabytes, that's how much digital storage in the average US household. Increasingly, our lives and our livelihoods are tied to digital storage, photos, books, movies, TV shows, music, financial and legal documents. And while most of us have developed good analog habits from changing the oil in our cars to getting flu shots, good digital habits, like backing up our hard drive, something most of us are still learning to do. Crash Plan from Code42 Software is the online backup software that's rocketing to the top of nearly every ranking and review because it's intelligent design, ultra simple setup, and transparent operation. Essentially, Crash Plan lets anybody set up a super secure private backup cloud just a few clicks from their Windows, Mac, or even Linux desktops. Backups are continuous, so your most recent docs are always backed up offsite on Code42's Crash Plan Central Cloud in seconds. Access those files within minutes from your phone, tablet, with the free Crash Plan mobile apps. Also free is the ability to use the same easy software to back up to an external drive or securely share extra drive space with a friend. It's kind of cool. Or back from your home or home computer again for free. Crash Plan offers truly unlimited storage and anywhere access to your entire hard drive from a mobile app for just $5.99 a month. Or save on year service for only $59.99 a month. We encourage you to try it first for free for 30 days. Go to crashplan.com slash buffalo and start protecting your digital assets today. Thank you again to our friends at Crash Plan. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. If you want to read more, all these rumors are up on technobuffalo.com, where you should be going anyway to get all of your tech news. I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next video.